I'm just loving my twist out today. It really came out really nice. Anyways. Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Alisa and this is Hello Minacy. So today I want to do a video on 25 shows that I enjoyed watching that you may enjoy watching as well on Netflix during this quarantine time. We are living through a story that will be in the history books, but sometimes we need to just turn off the news and enjoy some mindless activity. And so I'm here to give you some mindless TV to watch on Netflix. So stay tuned. So my first show that I'm recommending to you is an odd one but a great one and that is The Office. That is my number one. Now these shows that I'm recommending are in no particular order but when I think of shows on Netflix I always think of The Office and there are nine seasons of it to binge watch and there's like 27 episodes per season so you have plenty of time to sit and watch Dwight Schrute and Michael Scott and Pam Beasley and all those characters from The Office. If you get past like the first few episodes, it, you get into it and you are like part of The Office community. It's like, <laughs> I don't know, a club. So the, the first one that I'm recommending for you is The Office. And go ahead and watch it because I hear at the end of the year they're taking it off Netflix. I'm so sad. Anyways. All right, so number one was The Office. Number two is a show that I recently just finished watching. And initially when I watched the show, I was like, I'm not watching this weirdo show because the trailer had like this girl dancing and taking in her asthma pump. And I was like, this looks whack, but it was so good. It's called On My Block. There are three seasons of it. I cannot wait until the fourth season on my block. So number two, on my block. The third one is Greenleaf. Oh, this is, oh, I can't remember the mom's name, but if you see this woman in any show, just know that she's going to be a terrible mother. So the mother in this show, what is her name? I can't think of it. But anyways, Greenleaf is a great show as well. So that's the third one. Number four, House of Flowers. So this is originally a Mexican show. So it's in Spanish. The original language is in Spanish. Um, but it's dubbed in English and other languages as well. So House of Flowers, the next season comes out on Thursday. I cannot wait so I can watch the next season. Ugh, it's really good. Another one, Gentified. I just discovered this one. I think it came out 2019, maybe 2020, but it's a really good show as well. There's only one season, but I'm committed to it. All right, so we have The Office on my blog, Greenleaf, House of Flowers, Gentified. The next one, Jane the Virgin. That one was pretty good to um, watch as well. Dead to Me. So this one was an interesting one. So um, a couple or this wife and her husband, her husband gets killed. He gets hit by a car and she befriends this lady. And this lady has something to do with her husband and his death. So watch that show. There's only one season as well. Um, it's called Dead to Me. The next one, Elite. So this show was based in Spain. So once again, it's in Spanish. So obviously there's a little trend here. I love my Spanglish shows <laughs> like Jane the Virgin and Gentified and House of Flowers, all Spanish speaking shows. Um, so, the, so Elite is based in Spain, a high school community, and you see those who are privileged and those who are not privileged and murder and scandal. It's really good, actually. Um, Dear White People is a good one based in college students. Um, good Girls is one. I don't know these people's names. I just, it's called Good Girls. Family Reunion, what number are we on? Family Reunion is number 11. The next one, number 12, Ozark. So if you are a fan of power, I described Ozark as the redneck. Disclaimer, I use the word redneck to describe Ozark because it's a significant word in the show. You have to watch to find out why. Hint, hint, wink, wink. 
version of power and there's even a guest appearance of someone from power in ozark if you see the correlation here but ozark i think there's three seasons the third season final episode mind blown so go ahead and watch that and find out what happens we can discuss down below any of these shows like if you like them, you don't like them, what are your feelings about some of these shows that I've talked about so far? And at the end, let me know how you feel about these shows because, I mean, to each their own, honestly. These are just my personal shows that I like. All right, so we're at Ozark. Number 13, The Crown. So this is about the royal family, Queen Elizabeth and the scandal. Does Prince Philip really have you know, this whole secret life with other women. I mean, do they really drink the blood of other people? Is that how they're staying alive so long? Although Prince Philip does look like he's on his last leg, you know, but all the best to the royal family. So that's number 13, the crown. The next one, number 14. So any of my past students that I had from what, 2018, 2019, my last year that I, I've taught Remember on Fridays when we used to watch Nailed It when school was being dismissed? We really enjoyed watching this show and seeing the failures of people trying to bake different things. It really makes me want to bake. Like, I feel like I want to start baking again. I used to bake, but... All right, so we have Ozark, The Crown, Nailed It. Another show called... <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Inglacius. This is um, the main character is Gabriel Inglacius. If you're not familiar with him, he's a stand-up comedian that we actually enjoy watching when we were in Florida. Um, we would go to improv. He would be there, and he goes by the stage name of Fluffy because he's a little bit fluffy. Anyways, all right. So we have Mr. Inglacius. All right. So this show. Let me tell you, when I was watching this show called The Circle, I was like. <gasps> <gasps> it was really good i really enjoyed like i there's not many shows that i'll just like sit and watch multiple episodes all the way through i literally watched this whole show back to back to back to back so they even have the circle france the circle brazil i've seen it's really good the circle what number is that number 16 i have my notes here so i can uh keep track of what i was saying all right, so we have The Circle. We have Great News. So this show is with Nicole Richie. It doesn't have any more seasons. I think it's only two. But it was actually really comical, I would describe it as. Um, I watch, I downloaded some episodes when I was flying. And I watched a lot of them on the airplane. It was a long flight. Where was I flying? Maybe New York. Okay. So Great News is what it's called. Shits Creek it's up there with like The Office, Parks and Recreation, Community, those type of shows. Um, I kind of like play it in the background, but the episodes that I do pay attention and watch, they're kind of funny in a like dry humor type of way. Um, we have Grace and Frankie. This is a good show. It's like older people and their struggles like with arthritis and different things like that. Um... It's, it's an unconventional show. That's how I can describe it. Fuller House. What number is Fuller House? Fuller House is number 20. Fuller House. So if you liked Full House growing up, so those that are like 30 plus and watched like live episodes of Fuller House, it really gives you like a nostalgic feeling because you're like, oh, it's the same house set up. It's the same characters. So you feel like oh it's a modern version of full house but it's actually a decent show i liked it um friends from college so i don't think this show got renewed for like its third ep third season but the first or second i don't listen i don't know how many seasons these things have i just know that i enjoy watching them okay so what i just say friends from college that one was a good one as well because if you think about it those of us, those of you who have graduated from college and you think of the friends that you had in college where everyone's together, it's kind of hard like as you move around to different states and get into different things, you drift apart and it's, it's interesting. How many friends are you still friends with that you went to college with? I mean, I literally only graduated like 10 years ago and my circle gets smaller and smaller and smaller smaller and smaller and smaller anyways 
All right, Dynasty. So there was the older version of Dynasty, like in the 80s. And then there's like this modern version of Dynasty. I'm talking about this modern version of Dynasty. Because I remember I was saying, oh, man, does anyone watch Dynasty? My cousin was like, from like the 80s? I was like, no, not that one. I don't know. I'm sure it's based off of that one. But anyways, I don't know the characters' names to tell you, but it's called Dynasty. Look it up. Atypical. So this show is a about a child, a family, who has a son who's on the spectrum of autism, but he's really bright. And <laughs> he's like so matter of fact, it's hilarious. So atypical. Um, another one is called Made in Mexico. So back to my Spanglish shows. It's dubbed in English, but based in Mexico again. Um, was it? Made in Mexico. And last but not least, a show called Working Moms. So this show kind of shows you the struggles that a lot of moms have trying to keep their career, keep their family, and staying abreast or you know keeping their head above water it's a really hilarious show it's actually based in canada but it's good and so this this is an honorable mention i've never watched this show but my mom was like oh if you're going to tell people things to watch on netflix you need to tell them about crash landing on you so if you enjoy korean shows and um reading subtitles because it's not dubbed in english then i would also recommend crash landing on you now, if you have watched any of these shows, if you have any opinion of these shows, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.